Hey guys, welcome. And today I'm going to be taking a look at the Pet Mate Labistro Programmable Feeder, Automatic Feeder. Um, this was something that I purchased directly from Amazon. Um, this is the 10, comp 10 pound capacity model, which comes in black. There's also a 5 pound capacity model, which is shaped pretty much the same as the uh, a 10 pounder here. Uh, but it comes in white and it also has the 5 pound capacity container at the top which is a little shorter, a little smaller um, but uh, the capacity containers are interchangeable so it would fit on a white one or a black one you can actually get the uh, 10 pounder uh, case available online directly from Petmate uh, as, a, as a replacement so if you got the white model as a 5 pounder to get a better price and then maybe down the line you decide that you want something uh, with more capacity you could just actually buy the tub without changing the whole model alright uh, this actually I purchased off Amazon uh, exactly for fifty four dollars and forty cents right now it's running at, a, at uh, around fifty nine dollars and some change uh, as we all know Amazon prices do fluctuate uh, from time to time um, so uh, I happen to get this at a little bit of a better price um, the Libistro uh, offers a couple things um, that I love um, a removable bowl, uh, actually. So moving right on to the device, the Libitro offers a couple things that I like. One is the removable bowl. Um, so if you want for easy cleaning, if you want to cleanse it inly, um, it actually uh, has these tabs underneath there that just hook, and you can actually just take it off pretty easily, as you guys can see there, and uh, you can hook it on just as easily and it's on. Uh, it has a low battery indicator that lets you know if you're using uh, batteries that uh, uh, lights up red when your battery is low. Um, programmable buttons here that allow us to change meals between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, it also allows us to change the, uh, the, the size of it, uh, you know, from a pound to two pounds, depending on how much food you want to feed. Um, so you have control there over the uh, cup size. Uh, you also have the ability to adjust the time there, set the time based on the actual time setting in your area. Um, it does come with a, um, a little uh, cover for this bowl and this actually detaches. This right here can detach from the actual main bowl here. We're not going to take that off. I did put some food in there just a, just a little bit just so we can get an example of how it works. Uh, two things I want to point out that I didn't like about this and one of them I kind of knew off the bat which was that this doesn't have any kind of uh, voice recorder built into it uh, like some programmable feeders that are, are less money. Um, I actually saw a programmable feeder that was less money but it didn't get the best of reviews um, from what you know customers feedback on uh, the forums uh, and on Amazon Marketplace. Uh, some of the people were we're not quite happy with that product but I did like the fact that you could actually say something uh, to it uh, and it would record your voice and you could you know prompt your dog to come or your or your cat to come and eat you know like hey buddy you know come and eat or uh, hey boy you know you know, you know something that you've practiced with your animal uh, or pet uh, to to alert it that the food is ready or, or it's time to eat um, so you know I thought that was cool especially if you're not going to be in an area uh, if your dog I'm sorry is not going to be in an area where they're around their actual you know the bistro feeder uh, maybe they're farther away they can't hear it I'm not sure but if you're going to keep this in a well uh, well walk through area for your dog and your dogs are naturally going to see this area uh, then you're not going to have to worry uh, when when they hear the food drop they'll probably come on running but if it's at a good distance from where they usually stay around um, you probably want a feeder that can actually talk or say something to alert your dog um, so that's one cool thing that this doesn't have that I was disappointed about another thing that I was disappointed about is the fact that this which actually has an AC input on the bottom there guys uh, which is actually shown in, in, in many pictures of this product. You can actually see the AC input. You can even see them in videos of other people reviewing the product. The one thing that no one ever mentioned was that this product does not come with an AC uh, adapter in the product. Now, mind you, it does actually have a little bottom container here which allows us to prop open and pop in um, three batteries of D size, and these are D size batteries. So I went ahead the night that I the day that I received this later on that evening. I actually went to my local um, 
in a pharmacy store and picked up some batteries. Um, and uh, it has an on off button on the bottom there so you can turn it off if you're not using this product so you're not draining whether it be power or the actual battery life of the batteries in here now from what I can see the batteries might last you for a good amount of time for a few months depending on how often you use the batteries but when you look on Amazon's website when you look on Petmates website there's no mention of an AC adapter not being included uh, there is mention of batteries not being included on Amazon's website but you know you you normally assume most AC powered devices uh, normally come with AC power and if they're battery operated as well that's just like a plus and you can get batteries separately now there was no mention that this included but there's nothing specifically saying AC adapter sold separately or not included at least in the uh, online websites where these products are sold now if you go to Petmates website you can find a replacement parts section where you can order you know these these tubs in the five pound the ten pound the case covers uh, the bowls um, and uh, and you can order those parts and one of them is an AC adapter now when you put something like that in a replacement parts section you automatically assume well replacement means I'm gonna be replacing something that it already came with um, and uh, sure enough the AC adapter does not come with the PetMate Labristro I contacted PetMate Pet Petmate via email, via Facebook, and they did respond to me. Uh, directly on email, they simply stated, and let me read it to you guys, uh, thank you for email, for your email regarding the Labistro feeder. It does not come with an adapter. It is available to purchase individually as an optional feature. We have always sold this item separately. We offer them on our website for purchase. So mind you, it says we have always, uh, 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 we've always sold this item separately. So that, I received that response back on April 13th um, from them. And then just the other day, I actually got a response on Facebook. I totally forgot I sent them a message on Facebook. But uh, they sent me a little more in-depth one, which says, uh, <clears throat> When this unit uh, was in early development stages, consumers were polled to determine which appealed more to them, batteries or electrical adapter. In the test studies, it was identified that consumer preference was for batteries. The reason appeared to be uh, to be the concern with young kittens and puppies chewing on an electrical cord which might cause them to, to get shocked therefore our first model did not offer the electrical adapter so I'm not sure if it said it, you know I'm not familiar with the older model and if that just didn't have an AC input um, but um, anyway moving along what they said was approximately three years ago the unit was redesigned to offer new features such as a removable bowl two sizes 5 and 10 pound and the addition of the electrical adapter feature so while the electrical feature is popular most consumers still prefer the safety aspect of the battery design for younger pets so we do not include the plug but it can be purchased online and then you know they give you the website where it can be purchased now I went ahead uh, before I even got these responses and and ordered the replacement part uh, directly from uh, Petmate and this is obviously not a Petmate product it's just made in China but it's 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 an AC adapter. You know the voltage is going to be correct with this product. I actually haven't even plugged it up to test it yet, but um, it cost ten dollars and thirty nine cents with shipping. It ran me about thirteen ninety five. I want to say around there. Um, uh, most people in the in the feedback of this product were saying they just went to their local electronics store and search through the universal AC adapters that were there until they found the correct you know voltage and the correct connection input um, rather than go through that trouble since the price is probably going to be normally the same and you know 1039 for uh, AC adapter is not really that big of a cost uh, from, so I said let me just go ahead and get it from Petmate and I'll get it whenever they mail it to me so I received it <coughs> a few days <coughs> actually you know more than a week after I received the uh, Labitro uh, the one thing that I'm disappointed is not that it didn't come with it, but that there was no mention uh, on Amazon or on the PetMate website. And, th and that's the one thing that I don't think they understand is that you're not, you know, overly uh, explaining to people stating, listen, you're not going to get this with it. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I I'm sure many people bought this thinking it was going to come with it. And uh, just for those of you out there, it doesn't come with it. At least not now. Who knows what they might change. Now, the electrical wire thing, you know, that's, that, I guess I can understand that. But... There are other products that come with electrical wires that 
uh, people buy and, and I'm sure we're finding ways to cover that like putting this behind a cabinet or, or something large or maybe going to a hardware store or uh, you know a, a pet store that may have it and buying some of that uh, electrical uh, covering that you would, that we saw like in that drink well uh, product that I reviewed uh, a few days ago uh, where I actually showed where the cord is actually covered by this like chew proof material I'm sure you can buy that kind of material and cover the wire yourself um, so you know I, I think the option is to have it included is definitely a plus and I don't you know wh why not include it you know if, if nobody wants it then they can put it to the side but if somebody wants it they don't have to pay extra for it you know what I mean it will just be in the package ready to go and uh, and if they want to use batteries then it's already built in so enough on that subject but my gripe is more so there's not much mention of it not being. All right, so uh, right here it says 12 a.m. It's not actually set to a specific time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and leave it at 12 a.m. for right now. All right, and I'm going to go and the way you set the meals up is you hold down on enter here. And you hold down until the word meals at the top left corner. There's actually, let me see if we can zoom into this. So now you can see the enter button and the controls there and the actual meals button. So what we want to do is we're going to hold down on that meals button when we first turn on the device and it will start blinking. Uh, we'll be able to actually hit down on the arrow button and switch between breakfast, lunch, and dinner and actually set the time um, by hitting enter. So let's say we want to do breakfast. So we go back up to breakfast. All right, and let's say we want to set that time. It's set to 12:14. We have that clock already set to 12 a.m. Let's bring it down a notch so we can actually see how the feeder works. So what we'll do is we'll hit enter again. All right, and then it'll ask us meals, yes or no. So you can actually choose, uh, scroll between whether you set a meal or whether you don't set a meal. So we can hit no, uh, and then hit enter, or we can scroll back to yes and hit enter. So we say yes, we want to have a breakfast, and then it'll take us to the actual time setting. So I'm going to leave 12 there, and I'm going to go scroll up to, let's say, it was 12 a.m. we set it to, let's say 12.04. Let's say 12.04, give it, give it a few minutes for me to finish uh, what I have to tell you guys. All right, and then we'll hit enter, and uh, we'll hit enter one more time. And then it takes us back to our main menu, and then we can scroll back down and set a uh, lunch. We can review our breakfast, which is at 12.04 a.m., all right, and then you can actually change the servings as well. One thing I actually did not show you. Uh, so let me go ahead back into meals, hit yes, and 12.04. And the last thing after we set our time is it actually lets us pick the serving size there. I don't know if you guys can see there, but it shows actually one cup of size. Uh, the little thing flashing there says is, is cups. If I hit on the up button, it lets me go up. As you guys can see there, until it says two cups, and I believe three is the maximum. Um, and then, you know, depending on how much food you want to serve. So we're going to leave it at one cup of food, all right? And then we'll go back to meals. And then we don't want to set lunch. We don't want to set dinner. We'll leave that alone for now. And uh, and obviously it tells us three servings. So it's telling us we're, we, want, we, we have a set time for lunch and dinner. So let's go back to the time. It's 12.02 a.m. In about two minutes, we should see the food actually bringing, coming down. So let's, it's 12.03 a.m. now, so let's actually set the, the, uh, the Libistro down and let's zoom out. And uh, in a minute, we'll see the food actually start to trickle down. Um, while it's doing that, uh, another thing that I wanted to point out is that uh, this product actually I saw on eBay for over eighty dollars um, so you want to be very particular uh, when you're shopping for this product or any pet product for that matter because you can find it for much cheaper uh, on Amazon um, as, as I said I bought it for fifty four dollars and someone was selling it for nearly ninety dollars on eBay and uh, you know you would think eBay would be a little more um, you know people on eBay selling an item would be more competitive with with, with online retailers but uh, apparently not so so let's go let's Let's see if it, uh, in about a minute, we should see the food. Yep. 12.04, and the food is starting to come. Obviously, there's not one cup of food uh, because I didn't have one cup worth of food in there, but I just wanted to put enough food in there for you to be able to see how it works. The time uh, happens, and then 
uh, the food throws down and you can hear a little noise you can hear a little the noise of food dropping so if you can hear it you be for sure your pet can hear it and obviously pets have you know better noses than we do uh, the dogs uh, and cats so they could probably smell the food uh, more more so um, so you may not need a voice recorder to actually record you saying anything to alert your dog to food um, but it's always a nice additional feature so I'll go ahead and move, remove this tray it's always harder when you're trying to uh, do it on camera okay there we go alright so what I'll go ahead and I'll show you the bottom of, of this for those of you that actually want to see what the bottom looks like alright so let's see if we can zoom in there alright so this is uh, the area that the food falls out of there's actually a little black cover here that's covering uh, the food um, from falling out of what happens is there's these blades inside there and let me take the top off let's probably have to take the top off to get a better look another thing I noticed that if you rust if you hit this thing about a little bit some of the food like one or two drips will fall down uh, as you as you just saw there um, and if there was a bowl there the dog would just go to the food so hopefully your dog or animal uh, is not smart enough to realize that and put some weight into it um, or else you'll have a problem because um, I've noticed that just the slightest you know pushing of this item and one piece of food falls down um, so there's the blade there and, I, and I'm actually good glad that there's some food at the top there because that can give us an example and, and that's just the food that falls down is spare food that didn't make it down the chute so this is a great example there's food being held up by those blades there now when and there's three blades when one blade uh, moves that's because one meal uh, time has come and what it'll do is it'll let the amount of food fall down um, that you've selected based on and it times it by how fast the blades move so when one meal comes the blade moves the food the food falls down and it hits that little covering and the covering opens and it falls down into the bowl and then another blade comes for the next meal covers it up uh, so it doesn't move anywhere until the next meal and then it moves and and so on and so on um, and giving you a look at the bottom oh, oh, food's dropping all over the place here alright so let's see if we can get a good look down there so this is the little flap here I have it on the reverse side um, so it's not being held down uh, this is the little flap that opens when the food drops out and there you can see where the blades are on the inside so we're just going ahead and Oh, close it. I'm going to have to clean this table up now. Uh, so, yeah, that's the Labristro uh, feeder, guys. Um, it can be a bit messy if you're trying to uh, clean it up. Obviously, this is not going to be food that I'm feeding my pet. Uh, I haven't received my pet yet. This is actually just a sample bag of food that I received in the mail that I wanted to use for uh, demo purposes to kind of test out some food products so what we'll do is we'll just put this on and this actually locks so you don't have to worry about the, your pet actually taking this lid off it actually locks in place and it's pretty and even the top locks in place as well so let's go ahead and just zoom out a bit and if we want to put our food in we just take the lid off and we just drop your food just like that close it up put the bowl back on and we are back in business guys alright so that's the Libe if you guys have any questions about this product that I haven't answered for you today please feel free to leave them in the comments fields below I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've missed out guys mentioning uh, it is uh, simple to program as, as, I, as I showed you you can serve one two or three meals a day you don't have to serve all three um, so, you know, for those of you who are getting this like myself, for more um, more of a reason for if I leave my dog, um, I'm not going to leave it for that much of an extended amount of time that it's going to require me to, uh, you know, put a full amount of 10 pounds in here. I'm just going to need it for maybe just a meal here and there when I'm not with my dog. So, like, when I'm at work and it needs to be fed lunch, but not like some week by itself or something like that nothing ridiculous like that um, 
So you can uh, dispense in one fourth cup increments up to three cups. Um, and uh, like I said, it works on 3D batteries, not available. Uh, it's for induce indoor use only. We would, the, the manufacturer does not recommend using it outside, um, obviously because bugs and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't actually have any kind of covering that will prevent bugs from getting in it. So uh, we wouldn't recommend using it on a patio or anywhere where, um, you know, bugs can get into easily all right guys so uh, once again thanks for watching until the next video guys i will catch you later